Welcome back to The Breakfast on PLAS TV Africa. Uh, we start off with our first conversation, and first and only conversation, by the way. And we're looking at uh, the activities or the uh, elections in Anambra State. Now, come the 6th of November 2021, uh, Nigerians, uh, the attention already is focused on that election. That's because it is going to reflect, it's going to be a reflection of what would happen in 2023. Several contenders, but we have about nine of them that are major. Uh, this is according to political observers. And this morning, we will be looking at the strength and weaknesses of this major political contenders, all of them uh, jostling for that position, who becomes the governor of Anambra State. Now, we have um, Dr. Rav Ngosu, who is a national chairman of the African Democratic Congress, who is joining us. And as time uh, goes on, we'll definitely introduce uh, the remaining guests as we proceed. Okay, uh, good morning, Dr. Rav Ngosu. Good morning. All right, thank you for joining us this morning. I appreciate you inviting me. Thank you. Okay, just before we uh, get straight to the crux of the matter this morning, what is the state of things? What is the atmosphere right now in Anambra State? Um, the, 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 the atmosphere is... How do I put it? <laughs> it, uh, it it's unfortunate, but Anambra State looks like uh, a place in the, uh, uh, kind of a, uh, a siege state. But then um, the people are good, except some of the political gladiators and also the, 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 the federal might that they have come to clamp on, uh, on the people of Anambra State. We've had a lot of incidents on daily basis, there are killings, on daily basis, there are attacks. And unfortunately, also, this has affected the, 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 uh, the a, a, a campaign. For some people, like our party that has planned the last minute strategy to get to the people, because we were busy getting to a different woman nurse and so on. But then uh, what is happening seemed to have uh, um, affected the, 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 the entire situation. But at the same time, the, the people are, uh, are a bit upbeat and uh, everything being OK, they will come out to vote out the, 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 the parties and government that have cost us this kind of uh, strife and, and uh, bloodletting across the state. Mm. Is there a possibility of either the uh, seat at home or the, uh, the probably might just be a compromise before the 6th of November? Do you see a possibility of that? I think um, some uh, stakeholders, the traditional uh, leaders, religious leaders have, have, have uh, now taken over they, they have uh, 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 taken over the 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 uh, you know the, the uh, they have taken over governance because the government in place the gov the governments in place both at the state level and at the national level and the other two parties that are at the uh, 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 National Assembly level have failed. So now the church leaders, the traditional uh, rulers, have taken over. Haven't they, haven't they taken over? They, they begin to have dialogues. And I believe that uh, such uh, dialogues will, 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 get, uh, will get us uh, to where we should be, which is what the, 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 the government the, the different parties that control Nigeria as it, as it were now should have done from the, the beginning. African Democratic Congress, the ADC, uh, of African course, Democratic, uh, uh, Afri African Democratic Congress, you are the national chairman. Uh, let's go by political campaigns, by the campaigns now. Do you think that uh, surveillance actually stands a chance? of um, you know, winning the elections, measuring it by the campaigns that he has done? If, if, if people are allowed to come and vote, ADC candidates, Akachuku, Sullivan, Wankbo has won the election. Because instead of, uh, we didn't bother about, about uh, the public evaluation. We went from families to families from the beginning. From beginning, we concentrated in meeting the Omonas because 
his whole team about the, uh, on this campaign and and, and the governance to foist on Anna uh, was clear for, uh, from the beginning. He wanted to concentrate on the family and we wanted to get agreements with every family in uh, every woman in Anambra State. And we concentrate on that. Uh, uh, some other persons were showing power, might, uh, distributing money, and so on and so forth. We don't belong in that class. Our class is to touch Hello? the families of uh, uh, all the families in Anambra State. So our strategy has worked for us. Okay, um, you know that elections are not just uh, won by just having an awesome personality. You also need to have structure. Uh, what structures do the National, uh, the African Democratic Congress, do they have enough structures in the grassroots? Uh, how many local governments, what is the presence that they do have in Anambra State, uh, the different local government, uh, in terms of popularity? juxtaposing that with that of the uh, the APC, the PDP, and ABGA? Uh, I can assure you that that uh, our, our structure, the structure of ADC goes down to, to the world and to the different families. I want you to, to, to get it right. Our strategy is to deal with all the umunas in Anambra State because uh, one of the cardinal programs of our candidate is to create the, the uh, Ministry of Omona Affairs. Therefore, our strategy is clear. We are working with every Omona. All the other parties are structured down to local government and wards. But we are structured from the state, local government, wards, and down to the different uh, Omona Omonas. So, Forget the illusion. Forget the 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 people who are making the the, the, the biggest street noise or, 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 or the biggest uh, a, a campaign on newspaper and so on. But we are down to every woman now. And if the election is hard, free affair, AGC will carry the day because the Anambra people, they, just like all Nigerians, are tired of the so-called uh, you know uh, too big national parties and then in Anambra people are completely tired of Africa. You can see the 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 the, uh, the confusion within their process and so on. And that shows you the frustration with uh, that uh, that Anam the Anambrians have where with them. Let's just have a free and fair election and you will see what the result will manifest. For 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 for, for the other parties uh, what do you call them? Uh, PDP and the APC. Nigerians are Nigerians are tired of them. The ordinary Nigerians that constitute 95 percent of the uh, uh, of the voters are tired of them. The only people who are still uh, uh, tolerating their excesses are our elites, because our elites would rather sit in their comfort zone rather than taking the needed decision that we have to take to be able to position Nigeria and take it to the trajectory of moving towards uh, uh, that's uh, what ADC has designed as a global super economy. All right, uh, we're being joined by Honorable Tony Ezequelu, who's a former uh, member of the House of Assembly in Anambra State. Uh, thank you so much, Honorable Tony, for joining us this morning. Honorable Tony, can you please hear us? Okay, so I'm coming back to you now, uh, Dr. Rav Ngosu. Uh, we continue. Hopefully, he is able to join us again. But um, let's just do it this way now. I, I don't know if you're very conversant or you have, uh, you know, the names of the nine major has been put out by political observers of, I mean, contenders of this position come Saturday. You have um, Professor Chukuma. Uh, of the ABGA, you also have Dr. Godwin of the Accord Party, and you have uh, the PDP Valentine, you have Senator Andy Uba of the All Progressive Congress, Senator Ifan Uba of the Young Progressive Party, and uh, Obiora Okonkwo of the uh, Labour, 
the, I beg your pardon, the Zenit Labour Party and Obiora as well of the Labour Party. You also have the Action Alliance, uh, Ben Itiba, and of course the Nwangpo of the African Democratic Congress. Now, um, being very objective, what would you say? I, 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 I'm very much aware of, uh, of all of this, but uh, let me ask you. Let me ask you something, and that it would be good for the audience to analyze and reflect. We have a government in place today, don't we? The government in place in Anambra State is a uh, Apuga government. Apuga government, they are in this campaign. Meanwhile, the state is in a state of chaos. Anambra State today is in a state of chaos. Anambra State today is full of bloodletting. It appears as if we don't have any government. So if a government has so failed that they've lost complete control of the state, why do you think they are in this election? They're not in this election. A number of people are aware. They're not in this election. They, 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 they are in government, but they've lost control. The same thing with APC. APC is in the central government. They control the police. They control the military. And today, a number of states like a war zone because we are having a, a simple election. What does, it, what does that tell you? The PDP and APC share the parliament. They've controlled our democracy for the last 23 years. And where are we? Where are we? Let everybody analyze it. That is why every Nigerian is saying, forget the bogosity of uh, the bogosity and the noise making. Let's face reality. What does Nigeria need today? We need to flush these people out. We, we have governments in place, and we are like almost uh, like uh, you know a place in war, out of control, caught everywhere, bloodbath on daily basis, and they're in charge today. If they're in charge, and, and, and we have almost anarchy, a state of anomie, that shows we don't have any government. They don't have the capacity. This is time for them to get away. And that's why democracy is good, because on this Saturday, Indian Nambra are faced with another choice. You continue with this rubbish, or you want to tow a different path. So this, as far as I am concerned, and most Anambrarians, forget the big noise. As far as they are concerned, these three parties are not in this show. That's number one, because they have lost the integrity and the capacity and everything you know of leadership to continue. Number two, they had flawed processes during their primaries. These three parties, because of their quarrelsomeness, lost it completely during their primaries. So their number are very much aware of this. Forget their, their noise, trying to, 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 to make it appear as if all the other parties are not there because they have the they they they, they have the uh, uh, the commonwealth the state ports therefore they can draw money anyhow they, they like having said that then um i wouldn't want us to discountenance any of the other eight, uh, any any of the other candidates you you mentioned about nine serious candidates as far as i'm concerned all the 18 persons enrolled in this, other than this three that have already uh, uh, removed, may have their own strategy. Just like ADC strategies go to the farm, from the word go. The, the, uh, I mean, everybody in, the, in Anambra, they are aware that ADC had the, the, the biggest and the best primaries that nominated uh, uh, Aka Chukumanko as the candidate. It was well attended, it was glamorous, and there was peace. Everybody in Anambra saw it. After that, we decided the public show is over. What must we do? We got into the, we got into our core strategy, moving to the families, because Aka Chuku pointed it out from the beginning. We want to bring back the family to participate in government. Government by uh, Umun and the Anambra, 
you know. Uh, All right, uh, we, we, we need, we, we, let's just, uh, you know, take a break here now. Like, let's just uh, take call here and see how we can have uh, Honorable Tony Ezequelu uh, join us as well in this conversation. Good morning, Honorable Tony Ezequelu. Can you please hear us? Good morning. All right, it's good to have you. All right. Uh, it's good to have you join us. And now we're looking at the strengths and weaknesses of uh, the various candidates, major candidates, nine of them, has been put together by political pundits and observers uh, across the country. And um, for the want of time, I, I, I want to presume that you actually know some of those candidates, not maybe first-hand, uh, you know, or for a first-hand experience, but probably the parties involved. So you have the ABGA, and you have Chukuma Soludo, uh, you have uh, the Accord Party, Godwin Maduka, you also have uh, the People's Democratic Party, Valentine, you have Andy Uba of the All Progressive Congress, and Ifanyu Uba of the Young Progressive Party, and you also have Obiora Konko of the Zenit Labour Party, and Obiora. Uh, of the Labour Party and Ben Etiba of the Action Alliance and uh, Nwampo of the African Democratic Congress. Now, uh, all of these candidates, nine of them, uh, what would you say their strengths are in no other? What would you say their major strengths are in no other? Uh, thank you so very much. The first, I'm about to start by saying that you have 17 candidates rather than nine. But maybe you have taken the nine, maybe that's the nine you feel are the most dominant. Now, let me take them one after the other and then give you the assessment. But before I start, I want to um, voice out a very serious and the unfortunate development that to me it will be very unfair if this election goes on November 6th without the participation of the Labour Party candidates who were kidnapped long ago and then the state security or the police the DSS and others, the government of the state and federal government, till now have not given Nigerians and Nigerians an explanation on what happened to this young man, uh, um, Mr. Obioro, who was contesting under the Labour Party. He was kidnapped along after his, his brother was kidnapped, he was also kidnapped. Not only did he kidnap, for a long time now, and we know very well that the, the electoral act requires that every candidate should have a given a, a number of time or period of time that they must have to campaign and meet the people before the election, before the voting. Now that this young man, uh, Abbas Mero, have been kidnapped and held, and security agencies and I neck and others are not saying anything serious about it. I think an election without the free, fair, and credible participation of the Labour Party candidate, Mr. Obiora Abbasimero, will be not only unjust, unfair, but will render the election in not non credible. Because, yeah, and I did not thought about it. But this should be the major thing. Every candidate, every party, I know it. The critical justice and the government should be shut about that now. This has got out of hand. And people are not bothered. But a candidate of a major party, who is very, very popular among the, the grassroots, he has been kidnapped and held. Until now, we have not got the news that he has been released. I hope you're getting me. I can hear you. Go ahead. Hello? I can hear you. Go ahead. I, okay, good. Now, having said that, I want to now 
to an analysis of the others at the stand so far. Having stated that it is unjust, unfair, and will render, render this election not credible if the Democrat candidate does not have the, the, uh, um, the right and the opportunity to participate free and fair like others in the election. Now, let me take the, the, the party. If you go to the now, let's, okay, let me start with the ruling party number that is AFGA. AFGA has, has never it's been a mess in so much local tussles and parties. AFGA has its candidate, Dr. Chukwu Masulodo, former to be a governor, popular among the people, with a popular party in the state, therefore that recent time, this party, the uh, party after, has been arrested in serious questions that have affected the party very negatively. Where most of the prominent members in the National Assembly and State of Assembly and the other people that have even built members have become to either APC or to PDP and into other parties. That should be a very negative and robust negatively on the candidacy of the uh, 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 after for the in this coming election. Therefore, that uh, before we can see, Abga has been the dominant party in a number of cases. Uh, but with the development now, um, this election of November 6th, to a very large extent, this development in the case of the party has made the election open for grabs by any person. If not, if Abba is able to manage his internal affairs very well, Abba should have been clearly on top of winning this election. Now, coming back to the next party in line, the PDP. PDP has a very vibrant, very, very enlightened, and then very credible and acceptable person in the name of uh, Dr. Valentine Osimo who was a former banker, a businessman, a, a world-class manager, former Amatina Stocky, former um, chairman of the Stagwell Star Group, among others. Um, uh, from Amoyesi, uh, uh, Sorodo is from Sofia, he's from Amoyesi, a very credible and acceptable person. And then um, he has everything in state, like Professor Sorodo, to be governor of Ananda State. And it's, I, would, I must tell you, it is equally acceptable among the grassroots and the stakeholders of Ananda State. The first question, let me take this party APC. Before now, APC uh, uh, has, do not have any serious uh, structure in Ananda State. But, however, the recent development within this election, you are in all witness the pay at which the candidate of APC, uh, the uh, director and the over with his team, have been able to poach on PDP and other parties, and be able to collapse a lot of their heavyweight structures into APC, bringing APC into context in this election which they were not in four months ago. Now, we do what has happened now with about seven and a half members, one senator, about ten or seven members, then you one of our ambassadors in this city. Therefore, the people find that our brothers and he was so much dislike APC. All right, uh, I think we lost connection with Honorable Tonya Zequelo. We'll definitely uh, uh, connect with him as soon as possible. But we'll just get back to uh, Dr. Raphael Nwosu. Dr. Raphael Nwosu, uh, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, uh, but so, so um, we'll just pick up from where he stopped. Uh, do you agree with him that... Um, uh, you know, he's saying that the ABGA has a lot of popularity. He is... Uh, being the fact that, first of all, he's contesting on that party that has been in dominance since uh, 2006, 
and uh, they have a lot of, um, you know, government support, uh, the ruling party. And well, of course, we understand the dynamics and the politics of, you know, the ruling party. Uh, do you agree that he has, uh, if you begin to compare him with uh, Valentine Ruziogu, or that of the uh, People's Democratic Party, do you also agree that uh, uh, Valentine uh, has the same popularity when compared to uh, the candidate of Abga? Now, um, the, the two persons contesting election in Abga and PDP are good. They have good personality and reasonable uh, pedigree. But for the mere fact that they are contesting in those parties, it's like the, 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 the toxicity within the party have rubbed on them. The toxicity within those parties have rubbed on them, and so on. And uh, one person does not make a government. The governor, one, gov one person as governor does not make a government. One person does not make an organization. One person does not constitute the leadership. A, a, a leadership is a more a leadership is a more integrated process involving many many hands. Therefore, you get into certain organizations, no matter the, the kind of person you are, what you can deliver is affected. So that's uh, uh, what I have as far as Valentine and uh, Dr. Professor Soludo are concerned. The toxicity within their organizations, within their parties, are dropped off there. This including uh, Senator Andy, are members of the party that are in, in, in government today. And where are we? Where are we? We are, we are, we are, has, we are in the, uh, uh, in the uh, most dastardly condition that this country has never been before. And that shows you that they don't have the capacity, these organizations don't have the capacity to give Nigeria what they want at this time. And the elites may be feeling cool, may be analyze, may, may, uh, analyzing these things wrongly. But for us, who have taken our campaign to the homeowners, to the commoners, to the market uh, women, and the, the boys in the market who are selling pure water, they are all complaining that these people constitute government, they, they, they come to the market in the name of internally generated revenue, they extract them. And internally, internally generated revenue is not, be, uh, not being used to develop the markets. Instead, they're going into their private pockets and they are doing the big men, the society people, the icons, and so on. So the people are very disenfranchised. Uh, 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 that's, uh, 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 they, they are very unhappy with PDP, with APC, with Africa, and they want to show it in this poll. But in, in, in terms of the quality of individuals, yes, they, they, they are good. But you put any of them on the poll tomorrow, the, what happened in their primaries, where they fought and so on and so forth, will happen again. Now, a number of people will not vote for, 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 for any of them. And I can tell you, if, the, if they don't come in, into the system, to cause problem, none of them. Despite the fact Apuga is the, 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 the party in, in government now, where we have no government, none of them will have 5% of the vote. Okay, uh, let's get back to Honorable, Honorable Tony Ezuelu. Uh, it's good to have you join us again. Thank you, I'm here. Okay. Um, now let's. Okay, that's all right. Go ahead. All right. Now, as, as I was analyzing, just put the fact that the APC can and the team have been able to to push and bring in so many of these big waves into their party. It still doesn't like the methods of uh, an umbrella like APC because they feel that 
APC federal government have been very, very totally unfair and unjust to the Igbos and the Anambra people. Just the same way that the people uh, uh, Anambra are feeling that uh, the Wuli government have not done so 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 uh, so so well for Anambra in terms of infrastructure development and all that. So the big men and men that are coming to APC, in fact, um, an immediate guarantee of a victory in free and fair and fair food because the masses are still very bitter and angry with the APC government at the same time. Now we are not talking about the individual so this kind of, now we're talking about the perception of our people toward the party. Yes. Then then equally um our people uh, uh, believe very strongly that um this election that is coming that's coming up is for the masses to provide their leaders and not an imposition. Some other parties have to the APC of arranging to read the election. But that's still an accusation. We know that uh, if the election is holding on November 6th, our uh, people are ready to battle it out for a free and fair election. Now come to the ABC candidate. ABC is uh, 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 maybe the fourth major party in Anambra State that also has a grassroots appeal. We have a candidate that is as qualified as any other person with long experience in, in public service and then in also service to the communities and all that. Then APM, ABC is doing its own bid towards the grassroots, towards the families. They have their own structure, don't strongly, strongly embedded. The only disadvantage that I think they may have is the issue that they do not have a kind of um, war chest that Abga, EDP, APC has. So they have a very good chance in the election, equally like the rest of the major parties. Then to let hand you back of YTP. The Andoba is a household name in the Namran State, very well known by every person. is a family senator for Anambra South, who have been doing very well for his own people. But this election, unfortunately, the structure of the party in Asia may not be of so much help for him in winning election. It may, it may, it may sound like more of a, a one man, a more strong man, with a few people supporting him in this election. But also, the value bar is very well known and acceptable among our people. They are not the general party, Dr. Obiora Okonkwa. The Dr. Okonkwa is, is, a, is a, an intellectual, successful businessman, manager, a founder, into social and community targets, and alongside the person in an state. He is actually, he was a candidate for an apparent PDP. But when he lost the primary, he moved into the Zenith Labour Party to contest the election. He's a very sound person. He has also the watches. But the problem he has is that uh, he made more of a, a one big man thing like that of Andy Oba. I'm sorry, like that of Ifani Oba, so if I'm not Andy Oba. But the one problem he had, which Ifani has some advantage over him that why did we have been here for quite a while? The only party has never been in Anambra State in a contest before. So it is very difficult for him to sell the party and the logo of the party. But Dr. Rokonkwa is a sound and a capable person that can run Anambra State as a government. They now go to the um, uh, court party, Dr. Godwin Maruka. Dr. Godwin Maruka is a very well known and a popular Egyptian. A philanthropist, a social developer, and um, somebody that are but a very prominent and world class physician who have been around for quite some time. He contested for the primaries in um, in PDP laws and crossed over to the Accord Party. He had always been difficult for somebody, no matter how strong or the resources you have at this. It's very difficult when you cross from one person to another. For you to be able to uh, uh, to get the party to understand your party logo and vote for the party, because it's a candidate. Mm. Okay. Let's talk about the AAC of uh, Dr. Chido of Worcester Group. Very excellent man, successful businessman, manager of human and material resources, who can make a very good governor. The party is also a problem that he may have in the election. 
Then we have um, a host of others left. Okay, I'll go to the Labour Party of um, Okay, uh, we'll definitely get back to you. Uh, let's get back to Dr. Rafael Mwosu, who's the National Chairman, African Democratic Congress. Uh, let's talk about, let's go by experience now. Uh, amongst these candidates that we have, uh, you know, mentioned, nine of them or about eight of them, uh, going by experience, who would you rate as the most experienced on the list? Um... The most experienced in government, politics, and leadership. I will still say uh, our candidate, Nze Akachukwankbo. And I, I have my, my, my reasons. Nze Akachukwankbo has worked, has uh, uh, worked within the local government system. He's worked with uh, the, the state systems, and he has worked with as a consultant with the deputy governor of Bayelsa State when Jonathan, when Good Luck Jonathan was the deputy governor of Bayelsa State. He worked as a consultant with uh, present uh, with uh, Good Luck Jonathan as a deputy governor, as a governor, and worked with him as the vice president as acting president and as president for all the time he was in, in the villa. So in, in, uh, in, ter in terms of structuring public policy, in terms of the technical work that is involved in leading a state and the uh, leading government, he's very, very experienced. The other, the other person you, you might bring in is uh, somebody like uh, Chukuma Soludo, but his experience has to do with the, the, the financial sector. And, and that's why he's, he got involved in politics and he's, he's been struggling. He's not been able to use his uh, a, a technical skills to form an organization to carry his campaign. He, he contested before in one of the biggest parties in Anambra State, the PDP, and lost mm -hmm. because he lacked that or that depth. He's a technically sound person but he's, uh, he's good in uh, a bureaucracy and planning the economy. I, I wish that people can know their niche and get involved there. It's not being the chief executive, uh, it's not a job for everybody. You can do a great job being a, a manager in a particular area. So uh, 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 that's where you, you, you find uh, somebody like to do. Then Val was the boys, a manager. It's, uh, he, he, uh, he's good with human resources, but with the politics, he doesn't have the experience, and that's why he, he yeah, he's gotten into himself by boxing. Um, Andy uh, has been a good legislator. He was in the pillar for, for for eight years, but somehow he's not been able to build the popular uh, a, a popular support because. The, uh, his kind of politics has been uh, 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 coming down from Abuja and taking, you know, uh, 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 finding different ways to, to entice the, the populace and then uh, possibly for him to get back to Abuja as the legislator and so on. But now the, 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 the people are getting wiser. They want people to work with them. So in terms of governance, in terms of running government, in, in, in terms of dealing with the uh, systems and public policy, the uh, Akachukwangbo is number one, and it's so rated. All right. Uh, let's also bring in Ben Wosu. Uh, good morning, Mr. Ben Wosu. Uh, thank you for joining us this morning on the discus. Good morning, Mr. Ben Wosu. Thank you for joining us this morning on 
the breakfast. All right, so we'll just move on. I'll just get back to you now, uh, Dr. Rafael Ngosu. Uh, Dr. Rafael Ngosu, are you still there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, so let, let's also move away from that now. I, I was hoping that, um, you know, you would say that uh, Andy Uba of the APC, you remember he was elected governor in 2007. Of course, he lasted for 17 days in the office uh, because there was a case as regards, um, you know, that was contested in office. I mean, him being elected, moving away from that. His, you know, vied for political office in 2010, 2011, and the list is ongoing. Uh, I, I would rather think that he is very experienced in terms so, of governance and in and, politicking. And, and the Oba has not shown any capacity to uh, manage an organization, to bring together hu uh, human beings. He lacked that experience, and, uh, uh, and that's why he's not done well with, uh, in all his uh, political uh you know uh, uh, positions i mean uh, 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 he was in the villa he was in the villa for eight years for somebody who was in the villa for eight years getting their lips and the uh, uh and the people to work with him shouldn't have been any problem but each time it's like there's this uh uh toxicity you know it, it was when and quite a number of people remember him with today. Uh, they, 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 they talk about him with the burning of the uh, government house, setting the, go the whole government house. When, when Governor Ngige was, where was there, but, uh, you know, on fire, on rampage, and so on. They associate the Obas and Dandy with uh, taking a, a, gov a governor hostage. And, 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 and these are just not right. So, um, uh, talking about experience, from him being in the villa and also having the capacity they say he has, because I don't know, by now he, he should be able to be dealing with the, with the human persons. Because any, to be a leader, you have to be able to deal with the human persons and so on. You don't lead stone. You don't lead money. You lead people. You lead people. And... All Nigerians who, who, who aspire to, uh, to, to, uh, to leadership position must know you lead people. You don't lead money. You don't lead, uh, you, 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 you don't lead machines. To be a leader, you lead people. You have to develop your people skill. And if your people skill is right, and you're able to bring the population to work together with you, you can achieve a great lot. All right. Uh, thank you so much, Dr. Rav Ngosu, for being part of the conversation this morning. We do appreciate your thoughts I and your time you. as well. And we wish you and your entire team the very best. All right. Uh, let's get back to uh, Dr. I beg your pardon, Honorable uh, Tony Ezewelu. I hope I got the name correctly. And please, let's quickly share your <laughs> thoughts. <laughs> let's quickly share your thoughts uh, as we... Uh, move away because we're out of time. Uh, now, quickly, wh who do you think... Uh, can you hear me, please? Yes, come again. I said, let's quickly share your thoughts now. Uh, a lot of persons have complained about the performance of the current government. Do you think that that would in any way affect, you know, the candidate, uh, you know, the candidate, the flag bearer of the party, talking about Charles Soludo? I, I didn't get to where you said. There, there are a lot of complaints from Anambra State as regards the performance of the current government. Do you think that uh, that would affect, you know, the candidates? Do you think that it would affect the, uh, the flag bearer of the party? Talking about Charles uh, Soludo come the uh, 6th of November. Sure. It, it not only will affect him, it is affecting him the way President Muhammad Buhari's uh, APC government is affecting Senator Andrew Ban. So the performance of the government of your party affects you because every government work in line with the party's concern and manifesto and then the philosophy of the party. So um, if Chief uh, William Piano have done as well as it will be did as a governor. It will be a very smooth ride for for, for Charles Ludo and Abga. But because of the fact that 
They unlocked the fundamentals of governance and development, chasing frivolity. It is affecting the performance of Professor Charles Rudo very badly, both in the campaign and in the election to come. Because the, as the way the APC government failure in Nigeria is affecting the you know, were very negatively in the election. Hmm. It's all right. Uh, we'll have to let you go at this point in time. Thank you so much for being part of the conversation, Honorable uh, Tony Ezewelu. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, and God bless you. And I wish all Anambrayan a free, fair, credible, and successful election come November 6th. But I still cry for Obi or Abatimeru of Labour Party. Okay. Well, we hope that uh, that election would actually happen and uh, everyone is encouraged to go out and cast their vote. We also hope that government will do the needful and, you know, the relevant uh, stakeholders would also do the needful, all of that for our democracy to move forward. This is where we anchor the conversation. We're definitely, uh, we hope that we have, uh, you know, more of this conversation, conversation just before the elections come the 6th of November. Now, do not forget to catch up on all of the conversation if you miss out on any of them. Uh, we're, on Plus, uh, we're on YouTube at Plus TV Africa and on Instagram is at Plus TV Africa. There's Facebook as well, Plus TV Africa. I am Messi Bopo. Do have a great morning.